Hey guys, let's start the 60th episode of Daily Football News and know what has happened in the past 24 hours. Is Ronaldo moving to Manchester City? Who is taking up Sergio Ramos jersey number? Simon talked about Saul's future at Adeltico. Man City to challenge Chelsea for Chiesa signing. Let's quickly find out all of these in this video. Before starting this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So at first without a delay let's get to know some main news of the day. David Alaba was presented as a Real Madrid player on Wednesday, and the jersey number the Austrian defender will wear at the club has also been confirmed. The Austrian joined Real Madrid signing a five-year contract with the Spanish Giants. He will be wearing the number four jersey at Real Madrid, previously worn by club legend Sergio Ramos. They offered me that number. I don't think there was any other. I know what the number means for the club and that motivates me. It represents strength and leadership. I want to give my all for that number. I haven't come here to compare myself with others. I'm David Alaba and I'll keep being David Alaba. I'll be myself," said Alaba. Former Manchester United star Ronaldo has been linked with the side's rivals Manchester City this summer and old comments the star made about City have now emerged. Man City is looking for a big-name striker this summer after Sergio Agro left the club for Barcelona and it is thought Ronaldo is leaving the current side Juventus. The Italian club is understood to not be able to afford the football legend's wages. Ronaldo first spoke about City rumors back in 2013 where he was far from keen to join the club. He said, to play for City, not United. I'm not going to do that. Why? Because my heart's in Manchester United, that's why. I can say it would be very difficult because of Manchester United. Ronaldo isn't the only target on City's radar this summer. The 19-year-old fullback has been linked with the Premier League champions for several months now, and appears to be the club's number one choice in its position. Portuguese press has been rife with links surrounding the future of men's, and often have signaled Manchester City as being ahead of the competition for the player which is claimed to include the likes of Manchester United and Real Madrid. Manchester City had signaled an intention to make a bid in the region of 25 million euros, with no official offer being launched at present. Ex-Manchester City star Lucas and Mecca has said the club is bringing in another top striker this summer, and it caused his departure. The city has lost Sergio Agro to Barcelona and Enmeca to Wolfsburg and they have their eyes on two top strikers in the transfer window as a replacement for their outgoing players. Guardiola wants to sign either Borussia Dortmund star Erling Holland or Tottenham ace Harry Kane. And while there is some doubt over whether the club can bag either of the forwards, Enmeca has said he left as he wouldn't get much game time due to an imminent new arrival. Atletico Madrid boss Diego Simon has conceded that Saul Niguez could leave Wanda Metropolitano during this summer's transfer window. The 26-year-old's future in the Spanish capital continues to be called into question, with Barcelona, Manchester United, and Liverpool all believed to be interested in signing him. Simon has called the Spaniard very important for Adeltico. Last season Saul spoke with the club, with us about his needs, and what he spoke about was the option of having a position on the pitch where he feels more important. Simon added, I have spoken with him. If you stay, you work as you have always done and if you leave, the door is open in the best way. Manchester City has joined the race for Italy's Euro 2020 star Federico Chiesa, according to reports. The right winger scored two goals in seven appearances as the Azari picked up their second major tournament trophy this century. His brilliant performances this summer have seen him linked with Chelsea. The Blues started the bidding with a 100 million euros offer for Chiesa last week. He is currently contracted with Fiorentina but is midway through a two-year loan spell at Juventus. Chiesa's loan will become permanent for 36 million pounds next summer if certain conditions are met. Despite Fiorentina, and indeed Juve's, reluctance to sell him to a Premier League side, Man City are now looking to sign him. That's according to Italian source Calcio Mercato, who claims that Pep Guardiola is a huge admirer of the player's talents. They joined the race for his signature in the last few hours. The Belgian player has struggled to reproduce the best form in Madrid. Chelsea is weighing up a sensational West London comeback for Eden Hazard. Reports AS Hazard has struggled to impress since leaving for Real Madrid and maintains a strong relationship with several Blues first-teamers. Although the club would have to pay a hefty price to bring him back to the Premier League. Now we move on to some interesting news of the day. Bayern Munich midfielder Leon Goretzka is a potential replacement for Paul Pogba at Manchester United report the Daily Mail. The 26-year-old is out of contract at the German club next summer and would be available on a free transfer if no deal is struck. Manchester United is considering a cut-price bid for Leon Goretzka's Paul Pogba's potential heir at Old Trafford. Pogba also has one year remaining on his current deal and is wanted by PSG. Napoli manager Spalletti talked about Kalidou Koulibaly's future. I am ready to chain myself to keep Koulibaly here at Napoli, said Spalletti. Napoli sources also confirmed that there's still no official bid from Everton or any other club for Koulibaly despite these rumors. Swansea City has confirmed that head coach Steve Cooper has decided to leave the club. Tuper said, I am very proud of what we have achieved over the past two seasons, especially getting to the playoff final. 
but it feels like a good time for all parties to make a change. It is a fantastic club, with incredible supporters and I am very grateful to them, to the players and all the staff for making me so welcome here. I wish the team every success for the future. Arsenal is willing to include Ainsley Maitland-Niles in a deal to bring James Madison to the club, according to the Daily Mirror. Reports suggest Arsenal will need to offer in the region of £50 million to land their summer target. Leicester, Southampton, and Burnley all are interested in Arsenal's Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Liverpool has highlighted West Ham forward Gerard Bowen as a transfer target, reports The Athletic. Jurgen Klopp is a fan of the 24-year-old, but Liverpool will only sanction a move if they can get ex and Shakiri and Divock Origi off the wage bill. Bowen registered 8 goals and 5 assists in 38 Premier League appearances for West Ham last season. Juventus are poised to re-sign defender Giorgio Cellini, reports Calcio Mercado. The 36-year-old, who captained Italy to Euro 2020 glory, is a free agent after his contract at Juve expired at the end of June. The Bianconi will offer Cellini a new one-year deal, though the veteran centre-back will have to take a pay cut. Liverpool star ex Herden Shakiri is one of several first-teamers that could be leaving the club this summer, reports the Liverpool Echo. The Reds are prepared to sell Nat Phillips, Harry Wilson, Divock Origi, Nico Williams, and Shakiri as part of an ambitious fundraising effort, with Marco Grujic and Tewo Awadi already moving on in. Atalanta goalkeeper Piriwigi Galini has undergone the first part of a medical with Tottenham ahead of joining the Premier League club on a season-long loan. Spurs will take Galini on a loan with an option to buy the Italy International for £13 M which will become an obligation if he plays a certain number of games, according to Sky in Italy. They will also have the option to extend the loan by a further 12 months. Tottenham is close to finalizing a swap deal with Sevilla that will see them sign winger Brian Gill and Eric Lamla move to Spain. Along with allowing Lamla to join Sevilla, Spurs will also pay the La Liga side £21.6 million for Gill, according to Sky in Italy. Dill spent the 2020 over 21 season on loan at Ibar, where he scored four goals and registered three assists, as the club was relegated from La Liga. Lamla is set to sign a three-year contract with the Spanish side bringing to an end his eight-year spell with Spurs. Chelsea Academy starlet Dinal Simon is set to leave the club and join Southampton on a free transfer after rejecting a new deal at the Blues, according to reports. It was previously reported that the Academy star would leave the club this summer. As per Fabrizio Romano, Simon will depart Stamford Bridge and sign for Premier League club Southampton after rejecting Chelsea's proposal for a new contract. It has been widely reported that boss Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has wanted a new forward this summer but that interest may have cooled since Edinson Cavani's one-year contract extension was agreed. Spanish newspaper Mundo Deportivo reported that the Red Devils made a great offer for the 21-year-old Felix, for whom Atletico paid around £97 million in 2019. The bid was turned down by the La Liga side but there could still be a chance that United returned to the deal. Inter Milan is in talks to terminate Vidal's contract in their latest cost-cutting measure, according to reports. With Inter Milan desperate to cut costs amid their financial crisis, Club chiefs are considering terminating Vittel's deal, according to Gazeta dello Sport. Vittel currently earns £105,000 a week at the San Siro. Getting rid of Vittel would shave a whopping £5.5 million off their annual wage bill. He only has one year to run on his current deal. Inter has joined Arsenal in withdrawing from the Florida Cup due to concerns over the current state of the coronavirus pandemic. Either team will travel across the Atlantic Ocean and must seek new friendly opposition ahead of the upcoming 2021-22 campaign. Inter Milan announces that they will not be traveling to the USA for the Florida Cup due to the current risks involved in international travel as a result of the spread of the pandemic. Risks that have already caused Arsenal to withdraw from participation, the Nerazzurri signaled in a statement published on their statement on their official website on Wednesday. Fabrizio Romano has rejected suggestions that Arsenal is closing in on the signing of Chelsea forward Tammy Abraham. The 23-year-old is expected to leave Stamford Bridge during the summer's transfer window, and a number of clubs, including West Ham United and Aston Villa, have been linked with a move. A recent report claimed that Arsenal was on the verge of winning the race for the England International who would move to the Gunners on loan with an obligation to buy. However, according to Romano, while Mikel Arda is side like Abraham, the London club are not in advance talks over a deal for the centre forward. Abraham's current deal at Stamford Bridge is due to expire in June 2023, but the Blues are still believed to value him in the region of £40 million. This was the end of our 60th episode. We will be back with more interesting news and transfer rumours tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.